Uh, we are going to talk about congregational prayer stuff, and then we're going to do offering. Pardon? Yeah, well, I don't know. There's a lot to talk about, so you might want to sit down for a few minutes. Hey, 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 watch it. Somebody said I was long-winded. Wow. Ouch. Oh. Oh, yeah. Somebody is a brown noser. Okay. Anyways. All right. So, um, yeah, there are a number of things to, to talk about. Um, what, what we've been doing, I don't know if you've noticed, but... Um, I've been talking about some of these things for a while and then sort of condensing the prayer rather than rehashing it all in the prayer, knowing that, that God is here and he knows all this stuff. And so when we speak about it, it is, um, it is also our prayer. So uh, a few things to mention. Uh, first of all, Lord willing, um, not next Sunday, but the Sunday after that, May the 28th, we will be baptizing a certain Tremstra baby. So... Yeah, Chris is right there. Oh, no. I'm not here. <laughs> so we're going to have to figure something else out. Okay, yes. Oh, man, I hate it when I do that. Okay, anyways, um, so we're not going to be baptizing, probably, uh, unless somebody's going to volunteer. No, uh, we're not going to baptize a certain Tremster baby on May the 28th, so never mind. All right. Also, we do want to definitely pray for Herman Michelle. Herman is at KGH right now, and uh, he, has, uh, he has a hernia that needs a surgery for. Is he getting it today or tomorrow or? Don't know. Yeah, whenever they can get him in. It, it's, so just be in prayer for uh, Herman. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's got a hiatus hernia. And uh, they're going to do a surgery as soon as they can fit him in. Uh, but please be in prayer for him. Also, uh, Amy Lalonde, Lord willing, is going to be coming home today, it looks like. Um, she is recovering well from her surgery. Um, please uh, continue to be in prayer. Uh, they need to do some more. Um, they need to wait for some test results. Uh, but, but there was a lot of good things about the surgery and how that turned out. So just be in prayer for those remaining test results and for Amy uh, and the rest of the family as Amy recovers. Also, um, communication is a fraught and miraculous thing. I don't know if you know this, but think about this, right? Okay, so in order to communicate words, my brain needs to figure out the words that I want to say, and then my mouth needs to say those words, and then those words fly through the ether to your ears, and then they go into your ears where your brain translates them from vibrations into electrical signals, which your brain interprets as sounds, and that have some meaning. All right, so this is all to say that uh, through the miraculous and sometimes foibles of communication, some of you may have received the impression that Annie Verberg is, is healed completely of her seizures. And in a way, that is true in a similar way to how um, we are already not yet, right? We are already the sons and daughters of God. We are already... Um, we are already saints in God, uh, God's eyes and holy and wonderful and so on. At the same time, we are not yet what we will be. We have not seen fully what we are. And, and so Annie is still experiencing um, seizures. And, and so we are, continuing, huh, we are continuing to pray for healing. And at the same time, continuing to pray in faith and gratitude for that healing knowing that somehow, some way, God will heal, right? That, that's what God does. Our, our, our healing is, for us, coming at an indeterminate time, right? And in an indeterminate way. For God, it's all very clear, okay? So keep pray, praying for Annie, but also 
keep as we pray also for others, pray in faith and hope for healing, right? Um, this is true uh, in a way for Case, um, whose funeral we had um, just yesterday, um, Friday, sorry, excuse me. Um, Case is now healed. He is not with us in this life, in this earth, and, and we will miss him dearly. At the same time, he is now healed, and he is now what we will be someday, and that is beautiful and wonderful. In the meantime, of course, please continue to pray for Sani and for the rest of their family as they grieve as well. Also wanted to highlight Ron and Grace are celebrating their 40th wedding anniversary today. Yeah. Woohoo! I mean, Case and Sani had almost 65 years, so you got a ways to go, but 40's good. <laughs> it's a lot farther than Gwyneth and I so far, anyways. Uh, also, um, we want to continue to uh, remember to pray for, uh, of course, Pete and Ray and Tina and Henny. Um, we want to continue to pray for farmers and uh, their planting. Uh, the dry weather or drier weather this week has enabled a lot of our farmers to get a lot done, which is great. Um, we want to also pray for Han. Um, I don't know how many of you have met Mike and Han. Can you guys stand up for just a second? Sorry. So um, Mike and Han and, um, and their children, you guys stand up too. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so they have been they have been attending with us for uh, like a number of months, quite a number of months now, and we are so grateful for your presence. Thanks, um, yay. Um, anyways, um, Han is having some health concerns right at the moment, uh, so please be in prayer for her. Obviously, she's well enough to be with her to, with us today. Yay! Um, but please, what's that? Okay, she bakes well. Nice. Good. Good to know. That has nothing to do with her health concerns, I think. <laughs> but thanks anyways, Mark. Um, so b please be in prayer for uh, her as they figure stuff out. Um, please also, um, Jeanette, un unfortunately, um, is going to be looking for a new job. Um, so please be in prayer for Jeanette as she seeks uh, gainful employment. Uh, that is suited to her and she to it. Um, so that would be great and appreciated to pray for that. Also, I just want to say to um, a blessed Mother's Day to you, um, all of you. Uh, I say, and I think I've mentioned this in previous uh, Mother's Days and Father's Days and stuff, I say blessed for a good reason, right? Um, I say blessed because not for all of you is it going to be happy. Um, so, for example, Bill uh, Hoving, his mother passed away this past year, and so chances are good that it's not going to be the happiest of Mother's Days for him, uh, but we pray that he will be blessed at this time. Others of us uh, struggle with the reality that we wanted to have kids but couldn't, or the reality that we are estranged from our mothers, or we are estranged from our kids and we are mothers, or that our relationship with our mothers is complicated, or whatever. There are so many reasons why something like Mother's Day can be um, both a joy and also a struggle for lots of people. So we wish you all a blessed Mother's Day. Now, I will, uh, we will, um, having said all that, we will have the deacons come forward for the offering and the praise team come forward for the offertory, um, uh, after which we will dismiss the children for Sunday school. So, uh, oh, the offering, sorry, is for uh, maternal child, uh, uh, ma sorry, mother and child health uh, with World Renew. Uh, this is a program that they have done for uh, a long time as well um, to, um, to contribute to the health and well-being of mothers and their children uh, throughout, especially the developing world, um, helping them to thrive. So um, please, without further ado, deacons and praise team, thank you.
Thank you, praise team. Um, one thing I neglected to mention, I was informed this morning that uh, Hinka is uh, back in the hospital as well. So um, same problem as she's had before. Um, she is at KGH uh, now and uh, yeah, just hoping and praying very much that she will, um, yeah, that they will actually be able to figure this out um, and uh, solve it and or that God will pour out his miraculous healing upon her as well. Let us uh, come to God. Oh, let us dismiss children for Sunday school. Let us do that. Bye, children. Yay, kids. All right, let us uh, come to God in congregational prayer. Lord God, you have heard our, um, our words this morning as we spoke about many of the concerns that are before us. Uh, in terms of our own congregation, your, really, your congregation here at Athens CRC. Uh, Lord, we, we pray that not only would you hear these things, as you always do, you know these things before we do. God, uh, we pray that also you would bring healing, that you would bring peace, that you would bring comfort, that you would bring joy, not, not for our sakes, O oh God, but for your name's sake, that you may be glorified. Lord, we pray very much for these uh, things in our lives and in this congregation. Lord, we also continue, of course, to lay before you uh, our farmers and uh, gardeners as they uh, are in the process of planting uh, most of them. Uh, Lord, we pray that that will go well and that you will bless those crops as they grow. Um, again, not for our benefit, but for your glory and for uh, the benefit of the whole world. Lord, we pray too that you will uh, be with the youth as they head off to uh, the, the Pursue Conference this coming weekend. We pray that that will be a a wonderful and blessed time, O oh God. We pray that you will guide them. We pray that you will continue to be with Pete and with Ray and Tina and Henny and uh, all of those in our congregation who continue to struggle day to day uh, in whatever ways they are facing. O oh God, we pray as well that you would particularly be with frontline workers, especially, oh God, um, the police these days. Um, Lord, it seems that so many uh, officers have been injured or killed in the line of duty uh, already this year. Lord, we think particularly of those uh, officers just this past week who uh, were injured or lost their lives in service. Lord, we pray for comfort for their families. We pray for comfort and strength for all our frontline workers. We pray that their solidarity would bring strength and comfort to them and that they would continue in self-sacrificing love, be, being able to serve uh, the communities to which you have called them in the way that they do. <coughs> Lord, we thank you so much for their uh, Christ-like willingness to sacrifice and their servant attitude. Lord, we know that police officers and, uh, and paramedics and, and, and all our frontline workers are not perfect any more the re than the rest of us. But we are at the same time so grateful for what they do and how they model you in their work daily. Lord God, we pray too that as we come to your scriptures in the message this morning that you would open our hearts and minds, 
that we would hear what you would have us hear. We pray, too, that you would bless the offering, the tithes and offerings that we have brought this morning. May they be pleasing in your sight. And may they go to help mothers and children all over the world. Lord, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.